Okay, what's going on everyone? I wanted to do a video about the mirror and body image and accepting oneself. How to break down body dysmorphia related fears and or if you just have the fears of rejection. I had to play around my tripod here to see if it was better the camera behind me or in front. So hopefully this angle works out the best. So before I go any further, please subscribe, hit that like button down below. Let me know what you think about this video. I am going to take my shirt off for this. Uh, just so you know, I'm going to talk about uh, why we're afraid to look a certain way, why we're afraid um, to just, there's so many different reasons why society makes us feel that we should feel guilty about being overweight or stuff. And there's no secret, being overweight, not being healthy is not good for you. So you have a lot of people nowadays who they take acceptance in the wrong direction. Just because unconditional acceptance there doesn't mean that if you're overweight or morbidly obese, that's a healthy thing. That's part of accepting the realities of life. But it does mean that you can accept yourself for where you are today and then learn to accept that long term. The funniest thing about this video is we're like right now, I could see all the construction workers seeing directly in through my window, which I think is hilarious. So they're probably gonna watch me and they're like, what is this guy doing in the mirror with his tripod? Okay, so first things first, uh, and Phil with OCDrecovery.com. I've been very excited to do this video. So first things first, let's talk about clothing, okay? So I wanna show you a couple different things. So if you do something like this, okay? So you could come in and you could do this and you can flex that. That's not how you look. Flexing photos and angles in lighting to make people think that you look better than you actually do is nothing more than a marketing ploy and a lie. It's nothing more than that. It's just strictly a lie. Humans don't look like that. It's why humans are so afraid to, what they do is they go to the gym, they'll get a pump, they'll warm up the rotators, they'll do some curls, and then they take their shirt off so they can only look at themselves in the pump. I work out lower body, upper body in a cutoff shirt, no matter what. Um, it doesn't matter what I look like, whether I have a pump or don't have a pump, because if I have a pump, that's cool, but that's not what life is about. Like you look obviously fuller, you're my, I'm already a pretty vascular guy, but th that doesn't mean anything. So I would have never wore clothes like this in the past. There was just no way about it. Uh, everything I wore was extremely tight. So like I wore clothes like this and I made sure that like, if I was in a place that my arm was constantly kind of like this. So that was a big, big mistake. Um, jeans, the one thing I didn't do is, so like I didn't wear underwear for 10 years. The reason why I didn't wear underwear for 10 years is because I was really afraid on how this would feel against my skin. That was probably based around the body dysmorphia and the fears of rejection. So let me take my shirt off for you. Okay, so... This, so when, you know when you first take your shirt off and then what happens is people will look in this type of a lighting and they'll be like, oh my God, I don't like the way I look. And then they'll kind of like wait till they have a little bit more of a pump and then they'll like be in an angle and they can look. That's not what you look like, okay? What you look like is how you take your shirt off at any given time during the day. That's what your physique looks like, okay? So it looks nothing more, nothing less. Um, there are so many different uh, compulsions that I had with my body. So like, one thing that I didn't like was after a heavy training day, like I had the last couple of days, your body will naturally be broken down and more flat. Okay, so that's one of the things that happens to people. And I hated that. So like, I did not like the way, like, um, like if I couldn't see a well-defined, like my chest looking more kind of like that, like I did not like that at all. I wanted my chest to always kind of look like this instead of like where it looks a little bit more saggy or something like that. Now there's, so many angles agree, so I can't see because my tripod's in the way, but so let's say like if you were to go like this, like people will be out in public and they'll just kind of like stand like that. That's not the way you look. So you have to accept the way you look, just standing like this and like this from the side and then bending down like that. So when you bend down like that and you see all this right here, that is who you are. This is part of you. And that's very difficult for people to wrap their heads around because they don't want to look like that. They want to look how people look in the magazines and stuff like that. But that's all marketing ploys. Another one too is, is like, if you turn around and you grab, like, let's grab this, this right here, that is how you look. This is on your body. So there's nothing wrong with wanting to be lean. There's nothing wrong with wanting to be in shape. But as long as you realize that that is not the reality of what you look like at all times. The, what, the reality of what you look like is this. When you're sitting down, like this, and this is up like a little bit like this. This is what you look like. That is the react. this is you. So like that flab and when you're sitting like this right here 
if you can't accept this about yourself, you're going to be in a pretty bad spot because you will always, you'll, it will never be enough on what you look like. You're constantly going to be looking for, I have to look better than this. I have to be in better shape. So, and then there's all these different angles that people don't want. Like they don't want to bend over like this. They don't want to see that. Um, another one that I did was, so take the construction workers outside, for an example. I didn't want to do any sort of physical labor because I was so afraid that if I did physical labor, I was going to lose my gains. I was petrified of that. I'm like, no, I can't lose my muscle. No, I don't want to do that. And it, what my biggest, one of my biggest compulsions was, was constantly changing my workout pro, uh, program. It's why I made no progress ever. I just was constantly looking for the next best workout, the next best, uh, uh, is this the right time under tension? What about this article? What about this? And you see it. Like when I see photos of all the famous people on Instagram and the way they look in their marketing, when you see them not with that, they don't look anything like that because that's not the way they look. And if you can't accept yourself with a pump or without your pump, like this video that I'm doing right now with no anxiety and no nothing, there is no fucking way I was doing this for the majority of my life. Dude, Erica thought I was crazy. So now most guys will be in their house. They'll be like in their shorts and then maybe they will, um, they'll have no shirt on. Like when I lived in Florida, all the guys, whether you're in a frat house or whether you're in an apartment in college, just in shorts and then they would wear no shirt, right? So I was the opposite. I would always wear a shirt and I would have no underwear or no pants on when I was in my house. And Erica would think, what? why would you do this? So it's, it's important to remember that when you do those type of flexing poses, when you're like like doing something like that, that there's nothing inherently wrong with that, but that is not how you look, okay? You can enjoy having muscle. You can enjoy the process of lifting weights, but if your main focus is to get bigger and stronger and that's the only thing that you care about, you are missing out on so many things in life. Bodybuilding has primarily cons. I know this is really hard to hear and I love bodybuilding but it's primarily cons. It stops you from living your life. It stops you from, because most people make no money from it. It stops you from having other experiences, trying good new foods, traveling on a whim, being able to eat what you want within balance for most people. It stops you from accepting the way that you look now. It makes you arrogant from a rejection fear perspective. Not everyone, this is not a, every single person with a lot of people struggle with. I'm better than you because I look this way. I have a one-to-one one, one coming up, so I have to look at my time, et cetera. So you got to be careful with that. You, you have to be able to look yourself in the mirror and say, this is what I look like today because you're going to have days. Like I look flatter today than I did the last couple of days, right? I, when I took the week off from the gym, uh, when I was at Ultra and came back, I took a week off. I was fuller. My chest muscles look fuller. Uh, my delts look fuller. But that's not real. Like, that's just because I was well-rested. And then I go back to the gym, and I train like a maniac, and I hike mountains, and I get flat again, and I get depleted. So that is also okay because, again, the more you say, I need to look like this one condition, I would never take my shirt off at Ultra. There was no way I was taking my shirt off at Ultra ever because I was so afraid of what other people would say. So when I go to Ultra, the reason why I'm using Ultra is because a lot of people take anabolic steroids that go there. And I will say this off the record, you more than likely will not be able to accept yourself whilst taking anabolic steroids unconditionally. I cannot see how. Because Cedric McMillan, RIP, was a top 10 bodybuilder who passed away, I believe at 44. He made a video a couple of years ago talking about how much he nitpicked his body and he was a top 10 Mr. Olympia bodybuilder. He looked like a Greek statue on steroids, not like the statue of David. So it just goes to show you the bodybuilding world is perpetually telling you it's not enough. 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 And you're not better than anyone because you have a good physique. The, the reality, this is also hard to hear. When I lived that life for a while, I looked astronomically better than I do now. That was cool. But the problem is, I had very low frustration tolerance. I certainly didn't run a business. Uh, I had all these other behaviors that were really, really, really bad that I masked in my mind that they were good. But they weren't good. They were really bad. So you have to remember that you are going to have a hard time accepting yourself unconditionally if you're constantly going, I have to look better, I have to look better. That doesn't mean looking better and getting in better shape isn't necessarily a bad thing. It just means that if that's your 
only mission in life, you're going to be disappointed. And then lighting as well. Like this isn't the best lighting right here. A lot of people like to be in more like lighting where it's over here, where it's the way the angles look. You got to stop worrying about lighting. You got to stop worrying about, and when I mean stop worrying about, you have to break your beliefs down because that's going to be an automatic worrying process. And I, most of you that follow my content know what I mean by that by now. So you can't just say, well, don't worry about that. You're going to worry about that because you're so scared of not looking the way you want to look. So always remember that getting in shape and trying to get in better shape, nothing inherently wrong with that, as long as you can accept yourself for how you look right now, which is a difficult thing. Um, there was a great quote that said uh, something wrong. Acceptance is accepting with where you are now in pursuit of what you want, which I'm like, that is such a good fucking quote. So I love that quote. Very hard to apply. I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know what you think about this. This is a very important topic. If you're struggling with this, I can help you. You could still exercise. You could still do things. But you got to remember that if it's your only focus in life, you're going to be in a little bit of trouble. So there's other great things in life. There's great foods. Just because you eat healthier doesn't mean you're better than other people. Just because you're in better shape doesn't mean you're better than other people. Usually those people have more problems than say that engineer at Oracle here in Colorado Springs who's never been to the gym in his life. Not saying that that's a healthy option. I'm just saying that that person more than likely has better frustration tolerance. Um, they might have better balanced goals that are based around just the self. And again, not, those goals are inherently bad. So something to just think about. So thank you so much. Remember, phil at ocdrecovery.com. Let me know what you think about this. Hope to hear from you soon. And as always, enjoy the rest of your day.